Helen Grant, MP for Maidstone, undertakes a blindfold challenge. Part 1. Working with a guide dog. Helen Grant, MP, stands on the pavement in Maidstone near her office. She has a blindfold over her eyes. Guide dog Gordon and guide dog mobility assistant Rachel Barton are with her. Helen is standing still and holding the handle of Gordon's harness. Your, your left arm needs to be straight and relaxed. But obviously, before he's set off, it needs to be just behind you a little bit. Mm -hmm. When he sets off, it should come in about in line with your seat of your left trouser. Yeah. Yeah. I can just hook that under your middle finger. Rachel yes. hooks the lead under Helen's finger. So just drop, drop your left hand back. So nice and relaxed. You don't want to have too much sort of um, tension on your shoulders. Um, so, as I said, Gordon doesn't sort of know you, so I'm going to be helping him out. Okay. But the... Um, Primarily to get him going, if you can just place your right foot back one step and adjust your weight so you're, you're leaning back on that left foot. And then swing your right arm out in front of you and say forward. Forward. And don't go that until he goes. That's it. Drop that left hand back. They set off and walk past the camera and we see them walk into the distance from behind. They are now in the distance walking towards a bus shelter. There are two members of the public at the bus stop, making the walkway more narrow. Gordon stops. Rachel says, when he stops, you just stop with him. Rachel then tells Helen to use her right hand again and says, just encourage him by saying, straight on, Gordon. They walk through the bus shelter and towards the camera. Helen wobbles slightly as she passes one of the people at the bus stop. Gordon now sits on the opposite side of the road to the camera and waits at a pelican crossing. They cross the road safely to the other side. Inside a shopping centre, we see a blue metallic Christmas tree. The trio approach it and come to a standstill. Step up one tiny little step, so a bit nearer his head. One, one little step forward and both feet, that's it. We need to cross frame now, and it is quite easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Public aren't always excellent at getting out of the way. Yeah. So, obviously, you'll hear that as you've got the additional noises around you, again, it's quite easy to get sort of disorientated. Because this is all open, sort of shared space, again, there's nothing really... Um, on the, on the ground to give you much indication as to you know where you are going. So what we'll do is we'll cross frame in and we'll do a right turn on the move. So we're not going to sit. Put your right foot back and whilst again forward, forward and sit. We see the trio from behind negotiate a right turn on the move. They go around the Christmas tree and into the distance. The camera is situated in a shop doorway. The trio will pass the camera. Outside the high street is busy. Gordon continues to guide them safely in a straight line. They walk toward the top of a set of steps. They stand at the top of the steps. Helen removes her blindfold. Thank you, Gordon. You have been absolutely wonderful. You are a super, super doggy. Thank you, my dear friend. Part 2. Using a long cane. Helen is standing on the pavement. Mobility instructor Rachel Newton is holding a long cane. So the idea is we've got to go up there with this long cane. On my own? I'm going to be with you. Yeah. Don't worry, OK? So, um, you just finger on that part, OK? And the idea, I'd like you to do this to swing left and right. I've got to roll until the end. If it's on your left, it's like you go to the right, or vice versa, if it's on the right, over to the left. I need to try and keep Helen places the blindfold. A group of people pass behind her. Helen sweeps the cane from left to right in front of her and moves slowly forward. She goes past an A board and lamppost to her right. To her left are tables and chairs on the pavement. She approaches some manhole covers. Yeah, that's the train cover. Yeah. You'll be on shield left, so you need to go to shield right a bit more now. Helen walks towards a set of outside table and chairs. Her cane sweeps underneath a chair leg. Helen's cane now sweeps left into a metal framed seating area outside a restaurant. Helen walks towards the curb, heading towards the busy road. Her cane hits a lamppost. Helen is now on the pavement walking alongside the curb. Rachel is teaching her the touch and drag technique with the cane. Behind a lorry in a parking bay, 
Helen and Rachel stop on the pavement. Helen removes her blindfold. Oh, okay. How did that yeah, one feel, Helen? Um, once I got the, um, the, hang the, the, the hang of the curve using the curve, yeah. um, it was it was better. Yeah. Um, different, um, but still exhausting. The level of concentration yeah. and um, and just the noises again. I, I think are quite. Did you find the noise as a distraction? And what about anything you might have accidentally walked into on the on the street side? I think sort of the... yeah. I mean, a boards outside restaurants than the, the metal ones, obviously clattering into. And did you find ones. it difficult to know if you were going forwards or left or right? Which side was the road? Once I I, I found out about the touch and uh, and, and drag uh, technique. Yeah that was better and I seemed to have an inclination to move to the left yeah. so that kept me on track a little bit more but, but not easy, not easy at all. Part 3 Using the Sighted Guiding Technique My guide um, service um, locally oh, really? in Maystone uh, has been there for about half, 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 18 months mm -hmm. and um, uh, so I'm going to uh, sight guide you okay? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whenever you uh, approach a uh, vision head client, uh, always to say your name. So, hello, I'm Rachel. Yeah. And uh, would you like some sighted assistance? And hope you will take Yes, please, okay. Rachel. And so, uh, which, which side would you like me to sight guide you? Um, on my left arm or on my right? Yeah. Um, Okay. This time without a blindfold but with her eyes closed, Helen has taken mobility instructor Rachel Newton's right arm. They begin their sighted guide walk. They pass by a permanently raised area of decking with seats upon it. They pass by a stall in the centre of the high street selling Christmas gifts. The camera is at a low angle outside a shop doorway. In the distance, Helen and Rachel are walking in the middle of a quiet road that is pedestrianised. Camera shows a close-up shot of Helen's feet as she negotiates her way up onto a raised kerb. A group of youths are standing outside a shop doorway and blocking the pavement. Rachel slowly moves forward, guiding Helen through the crowd as they also move out of the way to let them pass through. How you felt the sighted guide, working with someone who's sighted, how did that feel in comparison to having a guide dog or the cane? Um, it was the easiest personally for me. Rachel was excellent, obviously a very, very experienced uh, guide and, um, and I could see multiple use there, you know, whether it's going to the supermarket, right, I could see, you know, assistance in, in, in getting food products and, and I can see the benefit of camaraderie, companionship friendship even developing as well which 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 is great do you think it's a it's a good idea for those thinking of volunteering to sign up to the my guide get the proper training and and help get people independent and back out into the community really i think it's a fantastic idea and i think it would make a you know a, a huge impact on people's lives i think it's a fantastic thing to do i gather there's two levels of course stakes level one and level two um, and uh, I, I really would recommend it the camera shows a shot of Rachel sighted guiding Helen in a busy outside shopping centre. They're walking into the crowds into the distance. Text appears on the screen with the Guide Dogs logo. For more information about the services Guide Dogs offer, please visit our website www.guidedogs.org.uk.